Hi! Today I'm going to be doing an account tour and showing you all my characters and their builds. I've been playing Genshin since October 2022, so that's almost a full two years and I looked it up and I started in version 3.2. So starting off, this is my profile I guess? I don't know what you would call this, but I'm AR56. Um, it's the truth. <laughs> This is my main team. I use Bloom with Shenha at the end. <laughs> I have a DPS Shenha, so I I do Nahida, I do Kokomi, I do Shang Ling for the Bloom, and then Shenha just just E skills on him at the end, and that's that's my team. I got Nahida April twenty second. I okay. Whenever Nahida's banner was out during this time, it was Nahida and kooky was on nahida's banner and i was pulling for kooky because i needed a good electro and while i was pulling for kooky i got dea dia and then two pulls later i got nahida and i was like oh and like that was back then whenever i like really did not know how to play the game at all like at all but i was like i've heard good things about nahida like she's really crazy good so i guess i'll build her and now i can't live without her and she's been on my main team since then so <laughs> siang ling it i started playing in october 2022 and i didn't get her till february okay well i didn't start really 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 grinding the game until like january i downloaded the game in october but then i didn't really care for it and i got really into it in january so but like damn then i got kokomi last summer and when it was kokomi and wanderer's banner which i got wanderer on that same banner as well <laughs> and then Shenha. Shenha's my favorite character. If you couldn't tell by looking at my account, if you have looked at my account. She was my first. She wasn't my first five star. Jean was my first five star. She was my first limited five star. And I got her March 22nd. That's a six. <laughs> okay, time to look at their builds. Now. No, 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 no. I am not good at building characters, okay? Um, I do whatever Google or people on TikTok tell me to, but if you have constructive criticism to help their builds, let me know nicely, nicely, okay? I know I don't know how to play this game well. You don't need to yell at me and say that. These are her stats, Nahida's stats. Um, do I have Dendro damage bonus on her? Doesn't look like it. This is her weapon. I've switched out Nahida's weapon like two or three times. I did have her on this, but then I started prioritizing Elemental Mastery and put her on this. These are her artifacts. She has like really good crit on her artifacts, which is annoying. Why'd that happen? Why'd that happen? Why? Couldn't it be for one of my DPSs? This is good. Yeah, I have really good luck with circlets, so everybody on my team has a good circlet. C0. I don't really plan to pull for her constellations, so she's probably gonna stay there. These are her talents. I want to crown her, but I have no excuse. Moving on. This is Siang Ling. Um, I think her build is the worst out of my entire team these are her stats um crit damage is actually better than i thought tell me if that energy recharge is good because i don't know crit rate could definitely be higher at least get it into the 40s i don't know if i regret ascending her to 90 she's not at 90 but i don't i don't know because nobody else ascends four stars to 90 but like I'm, I'm i'm a crowd follower so if nobody else does it i'm not gonna do it but like who cares what everybody else is doing I, let me know i have the catch on her i just recently r5 the catch like two three months ago it took me like a year but i did it a lot of people don't have it i'm proud of myself ish it was a whole lot of coming into people's worlds and hey can i do some fishing Ugh. these are her artifacts this is could be better this is good i think this is good they're not bad 
actually. I just need more crit rate. I don't think these are bad. If they're bad, tell me though. I just recently got her to C4. Um, who was on banner recently? Wait, was it this banner? Yes, <laughs> it was with this banner because I was pulling for Yelan and I got Jean. But I'm okay with getting Jean. So I have C1 Jean now. But yeah, I just recently got her constellations, which I'm so glad because all of the characters that I do have constellations for, I don't use at all. So finally, a character that I actually do use gets some constellations. These are her talents. I also want to crown her, but I have no excuse. I don't, I don't know. This is Coconut. She's my second favorite character. I just really like her design and she looks like a mermaid and... I explained why I liked her in one of my videos, but I'm blanking right now. Getting 40 HP was so difficult. 40K HP was so difficult. I was like stuck at 30K, 35K it is hard. I don't know how some people have like 50K HP. Ugh, I can't do it. These, this is her ratio. I would like to have higher energy recharge because her burst sometimes does DPS damage, even though I have her built as a healer. But I think it's because her goblet is attack maybe i have her prototype amber r5 um i think i would pull for her weapon the donut everybody else hates that weapon but it's really pretty and it's really good for kokomi but that's why a lot of people don't like it because it's like really niche and only good for kokomi but kokomi's on my main team i she's never not on my team so and the weapon is pretty so i think it's worth it here are her artifacts 20 20 crit damage why'd that happen on my healer and this is fine this is the highest crit damage i've ever gotten why'd it happen on my healer why'd that why that happen hoyoverse why'd that happen this is fine <laughs> and i have healing bonus c0 i would pull for her constellations but I'm focused on somebody else's constellations right now. She is triple crowned, cause duh. And I triple crowned her a while ago. I wonder if I, <laughs> I wonder if I wrote it down when I did it. <laughs> I didn't write it down, but I do have Shen Ha's written down. So moving on to Shen Ha. Shen Ha is my favorite character for her lore. I talked about why she's my favorite character in one of my other videos. Go watch if you care. Shen ha is my number one. Everything goes to Shen ha. All my resin, all my currently all my primo gems because I'm saving for constellations for her. All my attention, any good artifact I get, no matter what set, if it has good crit rate, crit damage, it's Shen ha's. And I have her built as a DPS, and I've never built her as a support, and I probably won't ever use her as a support. Her lore is too good to use her as a support. Be for real. This girl literally helped fight in war and save Traveler's life, and she's a support character? Be for real. Be so for real. No. This is her ratio. Um, it's good. It's really good. She's the only character that I could get up to 200 crit rate, crit damage. She, it's really good, but I would like it higher. <laughs> I also have a hard time because she scales off of attack. I just posted a TikTok about this like yesterday, and I was like, educate me. What should I do? Because she scales off of attack, and scaling means like the more attack she has, the more damage she does, but she's like her kit is to be a support. So I think the more attack she has, the more buffing she does, but I don't need her to buff anybody because she's the DPS. Everything revolves around her. So I was like on TikTok, like for my DPS Shen Han, do I do attack or cryo? damage and everybody's like cryo damage for dps and i was like okay so I, I went ahead and changed my artifact this is her weapon shen ha's weapons have put me through the absolute ringer and have cost me money <laughs> so i have favonius lance on her because it's energy recharge and google told me that she needs energy recharge no she doesn't for a dps build she needs energy recharge for a support so if you're building shen ha as a support this is a good weapon for her but i need dps so I then learned that this is not a good weapon for her and then I bought the battle pass and got deathmatch so she has crit but then I was like oh my god her attack is kind of low on this weapon but then one day I was pulling on the standard banner and I got 
primordial jade wing spear and i was like oh my god it has attack and crit rate i put it on her but i didn't like how much crit <laughs> how much crit rate i lost i changed some artifacts around just so i could put this weapon back on her because i paid for this weapon this weapon is shen ha's no it should be in nobody else's hands i bought this weapon specifically for shen ha so i snatched it from arlequino and i switched it you let me know which is better should i keep primordial jade on her i almost choked and died or deathmatch i think deathmatch looks better on her but it's, it's not about looks it's about what works better whatever these are her artifacts i've changed her artifacts 50 million times and i have done it today as well this is the highest crit damn this is the best crit this, this is my best artifact i was rolling it for shang xiang ling but then i saw the 28 crit and i was like "Ooh, switch with shen ha switch so this was no it wasn't this was the artifact i had on shen ha before and then i got this one and then i got this one so yeah prioritizing shen ha this artifact is really good but I want, a, I want a new one, but I don't know why. Cause all the stats on here are, are like great, are like really, really great. And like, it will be so hard to get another of artifact with crit rate, that much crit rate on it. So like this piece is so perfect, but I don't know why, but I want a new one. I really want a new one of these because there's only good crit damage on it. And then HP and, uh, and like energy recharge, I don't need it for her. I mean, I'm not, I, I, I don't welcome energy recharge. I just care about attack and crit when it comes to Shen Ha. This piece, the goblet. My entire team suffers from having a bad goblet, especially Ayaka and Shen Ha. I you did have, well, I had this one on her, but I was like, but there's crit rate on this one. And I've just been switching between these two artifacts for Shen Ha for months. And I'm gonna keep the crowd damage bonus one on her, but I do want a new one because it's double the defense on here. Like, it was stupid. I need a new one. But I rarely get Shimanawa's goblets. And when I do, they're garbage like this. Like they're all bad or they're like Geo, Animo, Electro, Hydro damage. I. I can't win. And then circlet. I have really good circlets. So this isn't a problem, but I think this is my best one. Cause again, prioritizing Shen Ha. I think this is my best. I mean, there is double defense and that, oh my God, that defense is crazy. I didn't realize how high, high that is, but it's over 10 crit rate. That's good, I think. Okay, that's my whole team my main team. Now I'm switching over to the characters that I sometimes put in my team. Sometimes I use Ayaka just cause I think she's fun. She turns into ice when she runs and my Shen ha does a small amount of buffing for her, my DPS Shen ha. I got her in December. I don't know if I got her on accident, but I did want her. So, okay, Xian Yun, no. <laughs> Yes, Xian Yun. I always get Xian Yan and Xian Yun mixed up with their names. I got her on her first banner back in February. And obviously I was going to pull her because she's Shen Ha's mom. Duh. And also we love Cloud Retainer. I use Xian Yun a lot actually. But I mostly use her for like, if I'm exploring, I use her to like hop over mountains and stuff. <laughs> Yeah, to do stuff like that. Although my Xin Yun does do pretty good damage. Because I think, I don't think I built her as a DPS. I probably did because that's all I know how to do. She does like 20, 25k whenever she smacks enemies. And I wasn't expecting that. So, so this is Ayaka's build. Oh, wow. This is high. Can I change an artifact and get some crit damage instead of crit rate? That's high. Well, okay, this is her weapon. I bought the battle pass again. Um, she has the black sword for the crit rate. I guess I was struggling with the crit rate, but it's really high. How much crit rate do I have without the weapon? That's nice and normal. I mean, I'll take it. I'm not complaining, but geez, I want to look at her artifacts too. <laughs> this is her flower. Quite good. This is... I don't need to tell you, you can just look at it. 
And then this is her, oh, circlet. This is her circlet. Maybe we should switch this because it's really high. What do you think I should do? You think I should keep it? Fine, I won't touch it. C0, I don't know if I would ever... Maybe, maybe, maybe a couple constellations. Not anytime soon though, because I'm focused on somebody else. Her talents, um, I would probably crown her. Yeah, I would crown her. I also want this to be higher because her normal attack is quite, no, her charged attack is quite good. Okay, Xin Yun's build. I would like her to be level 90, but I don't know why, but I just find getting her materials for lever leveling so miserable. I would rather sit through a world quest without skipping dialogue than, than get her her stuff. Sorry, I, mm -hmm. she'll be 90 one day. This is her stuff. Her critness. <laughs> this is her weapon. Um, I think this is a good weapon for her. She also scales off of attack? Question mark? Yes, I think so. Um, so I, I don't, I don't, I, I, this, I don't know if that's a good weapon for her. I just put it on there because it's crit stuff. This weapon is actually the first five star I've ever gotten. And I was pissed about it because it's a catalyst. And back then I did not use catalysts at all. But now half of the characters that I play are catalysts. So it works out. Her artifacts are a mess. Okay. This is pretty good. I have a lot of pretty good flowers. This is also pretty good. Ooh. That's not at all. Well, we'll have to fix that. This is pretty good. And this is pretty good. Mm, okay. I probably would pull for her constellations. That would be really cool if I can get like Shenha and Xian Yun maxed out. These are her talents. Um, I don't know if I would crown her. <laughs> I would pull for her constellations, but I wouldn't crown her. Make it make sense. I don't know. I do use her a lot though. It would make sense. Maybe I would crown her E. Moving on to the characters that I only really use in Spiral Abyss or in events, and they need to be built more. Like, eh, they're not good enough to be on my main team. Clorand. I waited so long for her banner. I was so excited for when I first saw her on TikTok because I'm behind in quests, so I did not see her in the Archon quest because I haven't done it yet. This is her stuff. It could be way better way better her weapon i don't know if this is good i googled it and they said attack is good and i was like okay well there's attack let me know what weapon is best for her her artifacts are a mess oh because this artifact set dude 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 the enemies in there are so difficult and i don't i can't do it i can't i'm i can't be arsed she's gonna be have weird artifacts for a while mm -hmm. but this is really good though this is also really good i i mean i was excited to get Chlorin, so no wonder why i put really good artifacts on her but i i use her but not a whole lot energy recharge i think that's good this is fine why didn't i put crit or attack i mean crit or damage or rate how do you feel about it? You like it? Elemental mastery? What for? C0, um, right now I would not pull for constellations because I don't use her outside of Spiral Abyss or events, but I kind of wanted to main her, so <laughs> maybe I will in the future. Ooh. Yeah, these need leveling. I don't like her E skill, so I probably wouldn't crown her E. Okay, Arlequino. These rainbow rose things kind of stopped me from leveling her because I wanted her, I wanted to get her up to 80 or 90, but I was like, I don't feel like collecting them, so I stopped. I don't use her that much, only in the spiral abyss. Because I, girl, I need help in the spiral abyss. It's bad. It's real bad. I have primordial jade wing spirit on here, on here, on her. I feel weird having a five star weapon on her because I she's level 70 and I rarely use her. But who else is it going to go on? 
I wouldn't pull for her constellations right now. C zero. I didn't know it was that luck. <laughs> I didn't know it was this low. I need to level these more. Well, okay. It says that you should level her E before her burst. But when I use her, I mostly burst with her because she's level 70 and she gets hit. She's kind of like, you hit her twice and she's dead. So, okay, Xingqiu. I used to have Xingqiu on my main team until I got Kokomi. So he's been benched for about a year. That's real bad. I only use him in the Spiral Abyss though. This is his weapon. I don't really care what's on him because I don't use him. C3, that would be cool if I got him C6, but mm, you can't control five, four stars. You can't do nothing about that. These were probably both at seven. Um, I would level these, but he needs a lot of work before I even look at his talents, so. Traveler, I don't use Geo Traveler. I only, she only reason why she's Geo is because I needed her E to get up on top of something, but she's usually Animo. I used to main Traveler because I don't. I was really into her. Like I was like, this is this story is all about Traveler anyway. It would just be weird if I was running around to Vat without the main character. And I was like, I have to have her on my team. But then I got Nahida, and I was like, ooh, sorry Traveler. And since I got Nahida, she's Traveler's been benched for like a year i would really like to build her level 90 her you know get her good artifacts for animo i think that might be a video like build animo traveler i got all the stuff for it okay gaming i really loved gaming's story for the lantern right this year's lantern right it made me cry real bad i also have a crunch on him but i turned 18 this year so i feel weird that i have a crush on him because he's definitely not an adult i would like to level him up to 80 why haven't i because i don't want to because i was saving these for yay lawn <laughs> this is ratio um it could it yeah the crit rate is really good crit damage could be better this is weapon i don't know if this is good but this is what people on tiktok said i was about to say i don't have many options but i could oh i don't have many options i could put favonia's great sword or the magic mega sword on him let me know he c1 i think i got him in an event and then i got his constellation on standard banner these are his talents well, I wonder why his burst does so much worse than his E. Look at talents. <laughs> okay, we're almost done with characters, I swear. Jean. I really like Jean. I still use, I use her in the Spiral Abyss, even though she's level 60. Um, I really like that she does damage and heals, but that also makes me confused about how I should build her. Whenever I first started building her, because she was my first five star. So whenever I first started building her, I had a, like Maidens. What's that set called? Maiden's Beloved on her because it's a healing set. But now I don't want that on her, but I don't know what to do. This, ooh, is really bad. This is her ratio. I mean, why would you expect it to be good? She's level 60 and I don't use her really. I would like to though. This is a weapon I have for her. I think this is good for her. But let me know. Jean's Constellation. I just got it on Yelan's, Yelan's banner. I was pulling for Yelan. I knew I was going to lose. There it is. Yep. And I do want and kind of need Yelan enough to pull for her again, but no, I, I need stuff for Shenha. These are her talents. Obviously, I'm going to level them because I want to level her. Tainari, level 6. I'm getting tired of this. This is his crit damage is fine. It's all fine. I want to level him more. This is weapon. I got this on standard. Yes, I have him C1. I got him while I was pulling for Raiden and then got his constellation pulling for Chlorin. And I have them both on camera. <laughs> his talents are low as hell. They will be getting leveled when I level him. Yao Yao. I don't use her at all, so I'm not going to go through her stuff, but I do have her C5. Wanderer. Don't use him at all because he's level 50. Um, I do plan to level him, but like, it's been a year. Like, when? When am I gonna get to- Why are you 
Oopsie Zero. Lady Ning Wong. She's one of my favorites, obviously, because she's friends with Shen Ha. No, I'm kidding. I really do like Ning Wong for like her own personality and the part she played in the Archon Quest and in Shen Ha's Quest. Oh. I haven't seen that in so long. Like a singular digit crit. Anyway, she's C2. Oh my god, I have artifacts on her. Oh, artifact. Oh yeah, because this rolled a crazy amount of defense, and I was like, well, whenever I bring, whenever I build Ning Wong, there she goes. That's a piece for her. I just hate her, bo uh, her boss. I I dislike you, so that's literally why she's not built. Okay, these are my weapons. Whoa, I have a lot of four stars. Well, because I have a lot of duplicates. I won't refine a weapon unless I'm going to go use it. You can just sit there until you're needed. And I have four five stars. I got Tome of Eternal Flow, which is Nervalette's weapon. I got it when I was trying to pull Staff of Homa for Shen Ha, because Staff of Homa uh, is crit damage, and I needed it for Shen Ha, but nope. Gave me Nervalette's weapon, and I don't even have Nervalette. And I don't know if I plan to pull him. Maybe, I don't know. But I was like, that's fine, because I can put it on Wanderer for whenever I build him. I've talked this whole time about how I'm going to pull for Shen Ha's constellations. Right now, this is how much I have. I'm screwed. I had 90 pulls, and then I pulled for Clorinde, and then I had 60 pulls, but then I pulled for Yelan and got Jean. And 3,000 primos looks like so much. It's only 20 pulls. <laughs> I've been in Fontaine opening up every single chest you could find. And you can easily find. You could eat minimal effort chests. <laughs> and it's barely doing anything. I'm going to talk about the amount of money that I've spent in this game. It's not a lot. It's like, we'll figure out. Shenhao's outfit first. It was how much was it? I bought her outfit in a video. So if you want to go watch that, if you really care, you can go see that. But I'm not going to calculate it because it's like I bought a Welkin. I bought like multiple Welkins and a couple of the Genesis crystals. Also, the outfit was on sale at the time I bought. I'm not calculating all of that if it's not that serious. And then Shen has weapon, which was $10. Ayaka's weapon, which was $10. Clorinde cost me like Clorinde herself cost me... <laughs> Mm, I want to say like $30 because I lost to Tainari the first time and I was like, no, I'm getting Clorind. And I bought, spent money. And I've also bought a couple of Welkins. So that's like $40, $50 maybe I've spent. I'm not proud of it. Hoyoverse is the last company we need to be funding, literally. Like, but. Um, my happiness is more important. I live in a capitalist country and there's no way around it. Even though it's gonna be way more whenever I pay for these constellations. Let's go over exploration. I'm gonna make this quick because you don't care. In Mondstadt, I cannot get 100%. I don't know. I don't know. And I hate running around Mondstadt looking for the last few chests or challenges, whatever I need, because it's empty over there. It's just a wasteland of just like a couple of hilly churros. I, I can't do it. If somebody wants to come into my world and, and help me find it, find it by themselves and then let me know when they found it. Thanks. <laughs> Dragon Spine. I don't even want to talk about Dragon Spine. I can't. I can't. I still haven't completed the tree. Like this. I don't know where those other five could be. And oh, use the interactive map. Duh, but I don't, <laughs> I don't know which ones I have and haven't picked up because I was not an interactive map user while I was in Dragon Spine. I really want these wings. They're so pretty. They would look so nice on Shen Ha. But I don't I don't know what to do. I don't I can't find them. Leeway, I've been trying to 100 percent for months. Can't do it. Like the nine being in the 90s and exploration is absolute like torture. Chen Yu Vale, I haven't really touched at all because it stresses me out like I'm I really love this place I love leeway all my favorite characters are from leeway I really love the lore and just the whole environment in leeway but Chen Yu Vale really stresses me out I don't know it was really cool whenever it first came out Sumeru I've been kind of really going crazy in Sumeru like with exploration not with quests like at all as you can tell I'm still on the Archon quest 
The desert part is really empty. In Inazuma, I have two islands that are 100%ed. Yashiori Island and Surai Island. The rest of these, especially Watatsumi Island. Oh my god. The rest of these are so hard to get. Watatsumi Island. I wanted to have 100%ed or at least in the 90s before I got Kokomi. I got Kokomi a year ago and it's still in the 70s. The challenges and the little like mechanics on this island are so difficult. And I don't know, maybe everything's well hidden because I cannot find any chests. I don't I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. I'm gonna break down in tears. I don't know what to do. Fontaine. I've only just recently started exploring in Fontaine because I need primo gems for Shenha. For C6 Shenha. This map is so stressful. <laughs> With all of the oh god. And then my teapot. I just did a video about my teapot. So if you care. You can go watch my last video about my teapot. That is my whole account here. You can look at my profile while we're doing this. <laughs> That's my whole account. Thank you for watching. I'm sorry if this video was boring. I feel like I droned on a lot. I just like talking. I don't know how to help that. Comment down below any videos you'd like to see from me. Subscribe if you like constant yapping and if you like Shenha because I do a lot of that on my channel. And I hope I can upload a video sometime soon after this one because my life is getting kind of busy with family stuff and I'm starting college soon. Oh lord. But yeah, thank you for watching. Bye!